Hey guys, welcome back. This is the bookshelf that I made to organize my books in my lab. I chose this design because this design is very simple to construct, uh, looks elegant and adds a little bit of beauty to the room. So without further ado, let's get right into the video. To build it, you will need to cut the plywood of the following dimensions. 5 plywood pieces of 35cm into 20cm each, which would later act as the branches. Secondly, a plywood piece of 37cm into 20cm would be the base of the system. And lastly, you will need a plywood piece of 60cm into 25cm, which would be the back support of this bookshelf. The thickness of the plywood should be no less than 10mm or it will make the bookshelf very unstable. The thicker the plywood, the better it gets. As a first step in this building process, we will need to mark the dimensions on the plywood with a pencil. But you should always mark the points at least on two sides because it would be much easier to draw and cut straight lines over those points. Getting a wrong cut on the wood can literally make you cry. And then draw lines with something straight. I am using a square metal pipe because doing it with the scale is a bit difficult and you don't usually get the scale of this size. Uh, after the lines are drawn, I am using a jigsaw to cut the plywood pieces. You can use a table saw if you have one or just use a hand saw if you don't have any of those. I used a C-clamp to clamp all 5 pieces to stand down their rough edges and to make them of equal sizes. As being too pro in woodworking, my cuts were more straight than that of a dog's tail. After the sanding was done, I layered the pieces and tried visualizing how everything will fit together. And after I had my cuts cleared, I measured 15cm on the branch pieces and marked a line. This is where another branch piece will get attached and that crisscross pattern will form. After marking the line is done, I used a small nail and made it all the way through the plywood piece on the mark line. I used three nails but pushed the nails of either side so that they come out a little bit from another side of the plywood as this would make nailing to plywood pieces easier. And after this step, I laid the two plywood pieces on the floor, then placed them perpendicular to each other. And making sure that my nails is pointing in the center and won't come out of the side breaking the plywood, I nailed two pieces all the way through. I did basically the same thing for the rest of the pieces, but no tear. The long side should always face outward. After nailing down all five branch pieces, it has taken its iconic shape. Invincible. Now all it needs is a base and the back support. So again for the back support I mark the length and draw the outline. And cut it with the help of a big saw. Then did the same old stuff sanding the rough edges and the corners. After the back support was done, I applied some glue on the edges of the branch pieces. And then took some time to figure out the best way to place the back support. After some trials, I decided to nail down the top branch piece followed by the bottom piece so that I can adjust the shape of the middle branches before I nail all the pieces down. After primary nailing to fix branches to their proper shape, I later uh, did permanent work by adding more nails to each branch piece. With patience and continuous attempts, the work was somehow done and I think it does not look that bad, isn't it? Now the last bit of work left to do is adding the base to the bookshelf, which is also very simple. I layered the bookshelf vertically, nailed it temporarily to the bottom most branch piece to secure its position and later nailed it from the back side 
through the back support. The thickness of my plywood was only 10 mm so it was quite flimsy and was not stable. So I had to add something in the front as a support. So I used the leftover piece from the earlier and marked its shape. After cutting and sanding work, I nailed it to the front too. After this work, it became more stable. A suggestion from me is that if you are planning to build this, then please always use a thicker plywood of more than 12mm if possible, because this will make your work much easier and your bookshelf much stable. And as a final touch, I am painting it white. You can leave this as it is, but coloring is a personal preference. And after a day of first coat, I added the second coat or layer and I must say it looks great. Now it will be sitting in my desk holding my books for the rest of its life. Thank you very much for watching. Please do consider subscribing. Uh, see you in the next one. Bye bye.